What's up everybody, Jesse here, and today I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks. Now, on this episode we'll be trying to get the different tunics. Now we all know the champion's tunic that Link is wearing here that we've all become quite familiar with, and honestly, I kind of prefer it over the traditional look. I, I've just grown attached to it. But a lot of people may still be wanting the Hero of Time, Link's tunic, or here we see that we have the Cap of Twilight from Twilight Princess. Because what Nintendo did, they didn't just give you Link's traditional green tunic. They gave you all of them. We can see the Hero of Time tunic with the Hero of Twilight's cap. We also have the matching hat for the cap of time. Now we can see that the defense of it isn't quite as good as some of our other items, but it does bring back those memories of playing through Ocarina of Time. So being able to play through Breath of the Wild as your favorite version of Link is possible in this game. And it's just that bonus that Nintendo didn't have to do, but they did. And it makes it that much better. So. Potentially, there are rumors that there is a shop somewhere in the game that you can find and it will allow you to purchase all of these different tunics. I haven't came across it and the only way that I know of for sure to get everything is by using your amiibo. Here we tap the Smash Brothers amiibo, which a lot of people think is based off of a version of Link from Twilight Princess. So along with the fruit, what we get here in the chest is the soldier's shield. It's nothing too important here. So we can try our other amiibo. This is the Ocarina of Time amiibo. We see we get some more meat. We open the chest and we have the big Goron sword to complete the Hero of Time outfit. It says a legendary great sword forged by the Goron craftsman for a hero who traveled through time the exceptionally sharp cutting edge is a testament to the craftsman's mastery. We can see it even has the same exact blade from Ocarina of Time, how it kind of tapers in towards the tip and then spreads back out. This thing is truly massive. We can see the sheath on Link's back here is almost as big as he is. That's dragging on the ground as he walks. That is insane. Now there's actually kind of a trick here where you can trick the game into getting more of this. Typically you can only use your amiibo once a day, which means if you want a complete outfit, you're going to have to tap your amiibo every single day for two or three weeks in order to get absolutely everything. However, thanks to my friend Rick, who you all may know as RMFH Gaming, there is a trick to this to where you can trick the game. Now I posted another video on this covering it, but I'll go over it one more time in this video just to help you guys out. But for more detail you can go to that video. So what you want to do after you tap your amiibo and you want to make sure you're on the Great Plateau, it helps with getting the costumes and stuff. If you're out in the field when you tap the amiibo, chances are you're going to get a Pona, especially for the Ocarina of Time amiibo I believe. So if you're on the Great Plateau, typically horses aren't allowed on the Great Plateau, so it helps your chances in getting tunics and swords and other weapons. So go ahead and save your game, press the home button, close out, go down to system settings, change the date, again this comes from RMFH Gaming, go to date and time, date and time once again. You want to go to the past and change this. That way if you're playing the game in a week or two, you won't come across a day that you've already changed it to. We're changing it from the 13th to the 14th here in the year 2010, just to make sure that I don't come across that date once again. Exit out, go back to Breath of the Wild, and the hard part here, or rather the annoying part, is having to deal with all of the load screens. But if you have some free time on your hands and you're just really wanting the tunic from Twilight Princess, Ocarina of Time, Link's classic tunic, this is the best way to get it. So here we're loaded into the same save file. We can see that we still have the Big Goron Sword just to show you that it is the same save file. Now, we tap the amiibo. This is the Smash Brothers amiibo. This gives us the chances of getting the Twilight Princess Link. So we get all of the fruit that comes along with it. We open the chest and now we have the Tunic of Twilight. 
It says, legend has it this armor was once borne by a hero who battled the monsters of Twilight. There still seems to be a hair clinging to it. Looks like it may be from a wolf. So now we can do the exact same thing. This time, you want to make sure it's not aimed at an edge because you don't want your chest to fall off the cliff, especially if it goes in the water. So we tap the Ocarina of Time. We see we have tons of meat coming. And in the chest, we have Soldier's Claymore. So we don't really need this. And we'll try this one more time just to see what our chances are of getting tunic after tunic. Go ahead and show you switching from the Hero of Time's tunic to the tunic of Twilight and the cap of Twilight. We can see it also changes the hairstyle. Now the Twilight Princess tunic is a bit darker. It isn't as detailed as it is in Twilight Princess, but you can still see some of the similar stitching going around it. So all in all, it looks pretty great. We're going to try one more time just to get the full costume. We can see I tried this and within about 10 minutes, I was able to get the Tunic of Time, the Cap of Time, the Cap of Twilight, and the Tunic of Twilight. We can see the Cap of Time down here to the very left. So we save the game once again, try this one more time to get the leggings. We go down, System, Date and time, date and time once again, change it from 14th to the 15th, go back. You need to close out your game because it has to register that you are in fact doing a new day. So we exit out, go back into our profile, continue, load our save file. Alright, see, we see we're back here in the same save file. I'm wearing the twilight tunic, the twilight cap, and I still have the big Gron sword from before. Now we're going to tap the Smash Brothers amiibo, which will give us a powerful weapon or the leggings of time. So we go to it, open it up, and with a little luck, we get the knight shield. So it says, a shield favored by the knights who serve the Hyrulean royal family. Its sturdy metal construction makes it quite durable, but its weight requires decent skill to wield. So, I don't really need this, so I'm not going to worry about getting rid of another shield just for this one. So, one more time, we're going to tap the Ocarina of Time amiibo. Took a few tries there. We get all of this meat, which comes in handy for cooking. And now, more ice arrows. Okay, so we weren't able to get the complete outfit, but I guess... Just for the sake of doing it, we can try this one more time with you guys. I have nothing else to do at the moment. So, again, we'll try one more time. We save the game, press home, exit out, close the game, over to system settings, all the way down to system, down to date and time, date and time once again, change it from 15th to the 16th. Okay, go back. Zelda Breath of the Wild, load up our game continue load up our save file now we didn't really get anything too important on the last save file but by now i don't think i really need to prove that this works i mean you can go and do it yourself if you need proof so if you don't want to take my word on it fair enough and again this tip and trick comes from rmfh gaming he did it as a means to just show people and help them out getting weapons and material food and stuff but I find it's actually best to try and get all of the tunics. We tap the Ocarina of Time gear here, get all of the raw meat, we open it, and we get the Soldier's Claymore once again. Nothing that we need. Alright, so we try one last time with the Smash Brothers amiibo. We get all of this fruit. Hydro Melons comes in handy later. And we get fire arrows. Alright, so we weren't able to complete the tunic, but we do see Twilight Princess Link here. And then, really quick, just to switch out to the Hero of Time tunic, we can see it says, According to legend, this cap once worn by a hero who traveled through time, a truly timeless item for kids and adults alike, obviously, because he wore it as both. So we see here, looks very good. And just for the people that just want to see the full Link setup, 
Where is it? We get the Master Sword here. So, interesting to note, in Ocarina of Time, the Big Goron Sword did twice the damage of the Master Sword. And we can see here, the Master Sword does do the 30 damage, and just like in Ocarina of Time, the Big Goron Sword does twice the damage. However, this time it actually gives us a 10 plus on the attack. So perhaps it does 70 damage. So if you ignore the blue pants, this is Link from Ocarina of Time. We got the same Hylian shield. We can go over, change it back to the Kappa Twilight, to the Tunic of Twilight. And you can even see here that they they all have the same stats. So, again, it looks almost like the Hero of Times tunic, a little darker, and you can see a little bit more detail on the stitching. So, really, it's just whatever you prefer. You can also get the Breath of the Wild tunic, which more looks more like the retro tunics from the 8-bit games that we've never seen in a 3D game unless you count Link Between Worlds, which has the same or a similar tunic to that of Link to the Past, but in a 3D character model. You can also get the Toon Link tunic from Wind Waker, Spirit Tracks, Phantom Hourglass, uh, whichever you're most familiar with. So it's just really cool that Nintendo included all of these in. Uh, you can also get other weapons, similar to the Big Goron Sword. I believe you can get the a boomerang from the Wind Waker, uh, the Hurricane Boomerang or something like that. You have to use the Toon Amiibo. But yeah, this this is how you get it. I mean, it doesn't really... It's, it's nothing that you really need in the game, but it may make playing it a little bit better specifically for you depending on which style of Link you prefer. So again, this trick does come from RMFH. Uh, I'm not sure where he learned it. He may have came across it on his own. He may have came across it on another YouTube channel or an article. But I just thought I would help share it. And if you want more tips and tricks, please subscribe to my channel and subscribe to his as well. He's doing a full walkthrough of the official guide. This isn't coming from IGN or another site that's making their own guide. This. His walkthrough is coming from the official strategy guide licensed by Nintendo, so please go and check that out. What's up everybody, really quick before we get to the usual end slate, I wanted to mention a quick update for this channel. I'm trying to bring together a few new series other than the usual discussions and news videos that we do. I would like to bring quality reviews, let's plays, do more live streams, a top 10 series, and more analysis videos. However, to do this, I need your help. Between being a new father, YouTube, and my real job, I don't have the time to work on all of these videos. So I'd like to bring on other people who can help out from time to time, like Sissizi and others who have helped host and edit videos before. To make this all happen, and to get awesome rewards for yourself, head over to patreon.com slash gameoverjesse where you can get shoutouts and videos, join our group discord and chat with us whenever you want, be a guest on some of our videos, and much more. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would like to give a huge thank you to this month's Patreons for their support. George Martinez, Glenn Cassio, Hen Hu Tienen, Lunarium, Magic Tech Review, The Itch Network, and Harris Priest. Thank you all for everything and it's because of your support that I'm able to find the time to do these videos. If you would also like to support this channel, head over to patreon.com slash gameoverjesse where you can find all kinds of great rewards like joining on a video, being added onto our Discord chat, having your discussion or topic featured on one of our videos, and much more, including having your own custom artwork similar to my own, drawn of you in any anime or video game style you would like. Finally, I would like to give a huge thank you to Nomo Designs and CSGuitar89 for providing the music and artwork for this channel.